Hello fellow book lovers, my name is Rizal and welcome to the Adventures of Jizz. Today's video is all about my 2020 bookish goals and what I plan to do this year. First up, we have the most obvious one, which is that I want to read 55 books in the year of 2020. Now, I did a video referencing the 20 books I really want to read this year, and there's also another video of 20 new releases that are coming out this year. So between these books and the books on my bookshelf, I will definitely get to my 55 goal mark, but I don't know what I'm gonna be reading, and I also don't always count all of the books I read. So if I read fan fiction on Wattpad, it doesn't go up on my Goodreads list. I generally read about 10 to 15 a year. Last year, I think I read about 12 and they don't go onto my Goodreads, so they don't count towards my Goodreads challenge, but I do add them into my writing journal so I know what I have read and when. My second goal for the year is to read at least one unexpected book every month. So I am pretty much always reading the same genre, which is YA fantasy, and I just need to get out of this YA fantasy zone. So every single month I'm challenging myself to read at least one book that I would not generally read or pick up, but it has to be a book I'm interested in, obviously. So I've got a couple of adult fantasy books, I've got some contemporaries on my list, and I also have a couple of authors and genres that I would not generally read on my list to see what I read. So right now my unexpected read of the month is Captive Prince by C.S. Picat, and I'm really loving it so far, but like I said I'm going to be reading different types of fantasy, different books, different genres. I'm just trying to get myself out of my comfort zone. Number three is to get my bestie to read A Court of Thorns and Roses. So this isn't really a bookish goal for me, it's a bookish goal for me to get my bestie to read it. But hey, it's here. She already read the first book at the end of last year and I just want to get her to finish reading the series by the end of this year. Number four has to do with bookish art. So I have signed up for a uh, online digital art course and I'm really excited for it. I've been doing digital art last year but I was not happy with what they looked like and what they came out as and I just want to start over, teach myself how to do digital art properly and from there I'm going to be doing obviously all of my favorite bookish characters. I also want to do some characters that don't have a lot of fan art for them and books that don't have a lot of fan art because in my opinion fan art just creates more of a hype around books and it's just such a fantastic way to share your love for a character or a group of people or a place and maybe maybe if they are good enough I will start taking commissions for bookish art as well. Number five, write book reviews. Oh my gosh, I am so bad at this. I always read a book and then I have notes that I've made and I just never end up writing the damn book review. It is really bad, it's a terrible habit, but this year I really want to get out of that habit and start writing book reviews the day or the day after I have finished that book, or else I tend to forget what's happening and what I really felt about the book. The next couple of goals are booktube related. So goal number six is constant content on booktube. So I am already trying to stick to my every Friday posting a video rule. It's been good so far, but I also want to see if maybe my time allows for it. I want to try for two videos a week. Next up, I want to be more confident and more energetic. So sitting in front of a camera and talking to it as if it's a person can be a little bit strange and it's taken me a while to get used to it, but I'm getting there and I'm slowly, slowly becoming much more comfortable in front of the camera. I just want to up my energy levels and just get some really good videos going this year. Number eight, I want to do book reviews on booktube as well. Like I said, I'm terrible at writing up book reviews for my blog and for Instagram, but this year I'm going to try and up my book review game, which means more book reviews in video format as well. Number nine, I want to save up for a new camera. So this camera does not belong to me. It is actually borrowed every single time I have to film a video. And so I just want to save up and get myself a camera. I have certain specs I really want to follow, but this camera doesn't just have to do with 
booktube it's also got to do with photography because i'm also taking a photography course so i've gotten this specific camera in mind and i'm really excited to get it so i've just gotten a job and i'm starting to save up for this amazing camera that i want so number 10 i am taking a photography course so this photography course you might think what does this have to do with books but if you don't know this i am very active on instagram so i post a picture of a book or a book layout or book setting every two days so i am a bookstagrammer that is where i originally came from and basically this photography course is really going to up my game when it comes to my bookstagram and also it's just going to be really fun next up i want to start using a camera instead of my iphone for pictures now as much as it's so nice to take photos on the iphone because it's easy it's easily accessible but I've just realized lately that my quality of picture is not up to standard with everybody else's or the people that inspire me the most. So I do want to start taking photos with my camera or a camera so that I can just up my game and get the kind of content that I really want to get. Number 12, we have make more fun, inspiring, creative, and just generally interesting photos. So again, this is for my bookstagram and I get really bored really easily. So my layout recently have basically all been the same. And what I wanna do is I want to start taking more creative and just fun, fun pictures. So dressing up for pictures, going outside and doing things I generally haven't been doing with my pictures. And the next two goals are writing goals. So at number 13, we have write a book. So I know this is a lot of pressure to put on myself, but I think this is the year for me to start and write my book. I am actually doing basically a gap year, which is why Bookstagram, Booktube, my writing, my blog, everything like that is going to get my full attention. So this year, my biggest plan is to write a book from start to finish. It doesn't really include editing, but if I do get to the editing, that will be fantastic. And then number 14, which is my last goal for the year, is do writing vlogs every week i'm still going to be posting my bookish content video but i might start a new channel or i might just start a new series of videos and this series of videos is going to be my writing vlog my weekly writing updates just so that i can also keep myself on track and so that other fellow writers out there can just relate to me and i can relate to them i think it's a fantastic idea it's a great community and i'm just so excited thank you so much for watching this video if you like this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel I hope 2020 is a fantastic year for everyone, not just for me, for everyone. I hope you have a fantastic week and have a good day.